The City of Grandview will be choosing not one, not two, but three different City Council members for the elections this year. One of them is seat number four. The candidate trying to maintain their position is Robert Ozunia, who has been in the position for two and a half years after being appointed to the seat. Ozunia says he, you should vote for him because of his range of background with education and service, and he knows how to manoeuvre the City Council. Ozunia's plan to continue that momentum that the City of Grandview currently has with all of the City Councillors on the same page by bringing in new businesses and approving new policies. Ozunia says City Council has had success with adding additional housing to Grandview. We've also done a lot of work around business development, economic development, and uh, a lot of businesses are starting to locate here, and we started a couple of programs here to uh, attract businesses here. here. Looking to dethrone Azunia is Mindy Peña, fellow small business owner of Scratch Bakery in Grandview. Peña says you should vote for her because of her business is in Grandview and is involved with numerous things in the community, like the Chamber of Commerce and the Grandview School District. Peña would love to see additional community involvement, like adding bike racks and building a community garden for people to use. And in regards to the businesses in Grandview, she wants to use thoughtful development with her approach. approach. We know, oh, new businesses are popping up, but also a lot of them are closing. And so we need to choose ones that will continue to be here for a number of years, not for a few or for five, but something that can last a long time. City Council seat four will be one of the four total elections for the city of Grandview. In addition to the full seat of the city council, Grandview will also choose someone to represent the sixth seat. One of those people hoping for your vote is the incumbent, David Diaz. Diaz says you should vote for him because he has some experience being on the City Council since 2018, and he feels passionate about the office and the work involved. Diaz says one of the things that's important, of importance are the projects that the Grandview City Council has going, and he would like to continue to support them. Something else he wants to see is downtown Grandview more lively. I'd like to see uh, more businesses downtown again. I'd like to get that downtown area more vibrant and also the outer areas of Grandview. We have some uh, 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 truck stop coming and a hotel with a restaurant, so projects like that. The person trying to win over the position is Mike Gonzalez. Gonzalez wants you to vote for him because he cares about the city and he wants to be part of the future of Grandview on top of wanting to hear everybody and to speak for others and help them out. Gonzalez says he wants to give equal opportunities to everyone in the community, like hearing their needs, making the right decisions and bringing everyone together. Gonzalez also talked about the business aspect of Grandview and he wants to work with the community to help the city grow. If we can work together and keep working together as uh, being able to help each other make the decisions of where we're spending our money and how we're spending it to you know, help our local businesses, small businesses that are growing, um, and also be able to do some stuff for events. I think that would be my biggest thing there. There are just days left until election day on November 7th. <coughs> Excuse me. Make sure you get your votes in no later than 8 p.m. on Tuesday.